What is up, everybody? My name is Nick. Welcome back to the Bathtub Miles channel. Today, I've got a quick little video for you guys today. It's been something highly requested. And lately, I got a few messages about it. So I figured here we are. We're going to make this video. So without further ado, let's jump in. Again, we've got a no BS tutorial. We're getting straight into the point. And you guys are going to be very happy, I guess. Anyways, <clears throat> today I'm going to show you all how to install the greatest mod menu for Black Ops 3 on PC, of course. Uh, I don't believe that there are any mods available for Black Ops 3 on console versions of this game. So we're working with what we got. So obviously, you're going to need a copy of Black Ops 3. And you're going to go into your Steam library. <clears throat> head over to the workshop and then right here in this little search bar you're going to type Encore alright and now there are going to be a couple options when you search this we've got a zombie GSC menu and then we've got the multiplayer mod menu obviously focusing on zombies today you can play around with the multiplayer it's the exact same process as I'm showing you now just the multiplayer side of the game. So you're going to click on the first one. This is the Encore V14, the latest mod menu that you can get for this game. I will also include that now that Steam has native controller support, or Xbox controllers at least, I'm not sure about PlayStation, but this menu works seamlessly with controller or mouse and keyboard, whatever you're playing. So as you can see here, my little subscribe button is already checked. All that you have to do is click the subscribe button and it's going to automatically download under your downloads tab. Once that's done, obviously the next step is to launch Black Ops 3. We're staring at the main menu for Black Ops 3. Bathtub, what do I do now? Well, I'm gonna show you, hold your horses. All right, head down to mod, you're gonna click mod. Here we go. First thing that you should see if you don't have any previously downloaded mods is going to be the Encore V14 menu. All that you have to do, click it just once and it's going to say at the bottom, loading. And then you should see in bright yellow letters, mod loaded, some random numbers, mod menu in the top right corner. If you don't see that there, then you did something wrong. Head over to zombies. We're going to wait for that to load. And while this is loading, I do just want to let you guys know that this does work in multiplayer as well. So long as you are the host of the game, I'm not sure if you can bring it in public unless, of course, you're the host. But if you're playing private games with your friends, so long as you're the host, you've got access to the menu. There's a bunch of cool features. And I would compare it to the Black Ops 2 on menu, Batman. B13, I think it's very similar in terms of features and what you can do. So we're going to quickly just load up a private game. If you don't know how to install custom maps, it's practically the exact same process as installing the Super straightforward, super easy. Of course, if you do have any issues with this mod, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and I can go ahead and get back to you as soon as possible and try and help you out. We also do have a Discord for the channel and you can check that out in the link in the description as well. So you can join the Discord and we've got a bunch of active members in there who can help you out as well. Uh, there were a bunch of people who joined from the previous tutorial that I did with the uh, uh, Gobble and the Liquid Mini. So as you can see, bottom left corner there, it says, welcome back to Miles. There's your Encore V13 loaded. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I open? It's like this, you aim, press your knife toggle, but in this case, it's for me. And you aim to go up, shoot to go down, and to select, press F, F again. Bottom left, you'll see toggles down there. And then you knife to close out the as you can see right now, God mode. You can find, I mean, obviously, you know, I just showed you how to toggle it, how to get everything that you need. 
to get the menu working. So you should be able to take it from there. It's all super straightforward. You open the menu, aim and knife, close the menu by knifing, and just explore the menu. This helps great for Easter egg strategies and then just enjoying the game. You can kind of explore custom maps, figure out strategy, Easter eggs done, complete the map, you name it. So yeah, there's a bunch of different features. It's hands down the best mod menu that I've come across for zombies. I can't speak for multiplayer, but I would have to assume that if it's this fantastic zombies, would probably be a direct reflection of how it's player. So, just like that, guys, there is the menu. I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. And if you did, let me know that it helped you out. Leave a like, leave a comment. Again, I'll address any issues that you may have doing this installation process. Comments below. So, comment if you had any issues. Join the Discord. Guys, this has been Baptist Smiles, and I will see you all in the next video. Later.